Hello and welcome on Thomas Geiger car today with the Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport concept. About four months after the world debut at the New York Auto Show, we're here in California testing that second derivative of the big American SUV. If you want to know if this car would fit on the road, how it performs and if it should go into production, join me on my test drive and I'll tell you more about it. As every design model, also this concept car is handcrafted and it's not the fastest one. It's actually limited to 30 kilometers per hour. But if it goes in production, it will be faster than 200 kilometers per hour and it will be available with a plug-in hybrid system. Theoretically, this car runs with a 3.6 liter V6 of 280 horsepower and two electrical engines 54 horsepower in the front 115 horsepower in the back and a battery big enough for 70 kilometers without any combustion engine so you can go through the city without emissions and you can drive pretty fast on the highway on the autobahn outside the city and since you have the two electrical engines you also have an all-wheel drive, even without the V6 petrol engine. Quite a smart concept, maybe a bit expensive, but there will definitely also be real petrol derivatives as well. If you look at a car from the front, it looks almost like the standard car, just a bit more show and shine to gain more attraction on the stage of the auto show. But if you follow the side profile, it changes quite dramatically. From the B-pillar backwards, it's totally new. The roof line is lower, the back is really sporty and tilted like a coupe, and the car is about 20 centimeters shorter. The Terramont and the Atlas are above 5 meters, this is 4 meters 85. Maybe not as roomy as the other one, but way more beautiful. The engineers might have sacrificed on the third seat row for the cool shape, but they didn't sacrifice on space, because if you open the trunk, you look into a gigantic compartment of more than 600 liters volume, enough for three, four suitcases and all the luggage for a very long journey. While Terramont and Atlas are available as seven seaters as well, the Cross Sport will only have five seats in two rows. But back seat is really comfortable. Got lots of light and I got a few smart gadgets at least available in the show car. Tablets in the backrest of the front seat, a touchpad for the air condition and really nice material. I would love to see something of that in the production car as well. I doubt because it's all a matter of money, but at least it shows what is possible. Even if Atlas and Terramont are standard cars and this car is based on these two vehicles, the designers and engineers took quite a bit of an effort to make it special for the show. We've been talking about the rear seat that has been moved 8 centimeters to the back to give you more leg room, that is slidable, foldable to give you more flexibility. But also in the front, it is really a different vehicle now. I'm looking into a digital cluster cockpit instrument. We have the big touchscreen here and we have a second touchscreen for the air condition, for seat heating and all the stuff. Even the control of the vent is done with a touch sensor and not with a wheel or a button. Looking quite fancy, looking quite expensive. And I guess that's the problem. All that technology is very expensive. So I will not bet on it that it will come in the pr production car. But it really looks great and fancy. Thank you for joining me on that first test drive with the new Volkswagen Atlas Cross Sport concept a car that could really be an interesting addition to the ever-growing SUV segment. It drives as good as the Atlas and the Terramont. It looks amazing and has got lots of room, at least for five people. 
So a car that could really push the numbers of Volkswagen. That is something the people in Wolfsburg has already realized and gave the car green light. But you still have to be patient. It will take another year and a half until the car hits the market end of 2019, early 2020 as an Atlas in the US and as a Terramont in China. Thank you, Schisje and goodbye.